Hey, hey, what's going on legends? Welcome back. Congratulations to everybody who made it this far. In this video, we're gonna learn about some things that might save you a couple hours or two. How to export and not make it take five hours to upload to YouTube. I have 45 megabytes per second. I pay like $70 a month. And if I click the wrong export settings, I can still wait like three hours for like a three minute video to upload. Here's what we're gonna wanna do. And I wanted to save this video up until we got to the end. Uh, cause I want to talk about exporting and excuse me. I wanted to talk about exporting and settings and stuff like that, but a quick video that could save you some time. Uh, here we go. So over on here on the right hand side, I'm not what, I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but this is how you export. You see this little right hand, uh, button right here, show, share destinations. What you're going to want to do is click on that. Now, chances are you're probably exporting to YouTube, which I do not recommend. Um, or you're just clicking export file. What I want to do is you want to go to what you want to do. You want to go to master file. See right here, click on settings. Now what we're looking at is the video codec. Now by default, yours is going to be set to Apple ProRes 422. That's overkill. That, okay, so what is video codec? Well, it's how digital videos get compressed. And Apple ProRes 422, supports up to 8k i don't even have 4k i'm still at 1080 and if you can see right here with apple pro res 422 the size of this file is 3.422 gigabytes i don't want that that's going to take two hours to upload to youtube i don't have that type of time what i'm going to do and when you're uploading all the other internet in your house is fried say your roommates want to check instagram or anyone who's connected to your wi-fi or wants to game online no, anytime you upload to YouTube, it's gonna absorb pretty much all the bandwidth. So what do we do? How do we change it? Well, I go from here. Now all these things, they're kind of similar, kind of different, but it supports high, high, high resolution stuff, 4K, 8K. What I wanna do is click on H.264. H.264 is still currently one of the most common industry standards used for supporting 1080. So I'm gonna click on that. And look at that, we went from three and a half gigabytes to 500 megabytes and then you click next and you export it to where you want it. Is it your desktop? Is it to an external hard drive? It's up to you and I'll give you a quick glimpse of the quality of what it looks like. This is a collab video I made with my cousin the other day and this is at H.264. Check it out, you be the judge. You guys haven't noticed by now, I'm squints. Someone said you love. All grown up. The hardware, iPhones, Apples, Spotify, uh, camera lenses versus camera lens. Does the job. I'm not too worried about, it does the job. So hopefully this can save you guys a bunch of time. Again, uh, I'm sorry for those who have had like three, four, five hour upload times to YouTube. Hopefully this will solve some problems. Hopefully this can save you a lot of time so you can do the other funner stuff in life. All right guys, good luck and I'll see you in the next video.